Hi there, welcome back. Today I will show you how to change the individual character styles in a text 3D node. Add a fusion composition clip to the timeline and open it in the fusion page. Add a text plus node to the editor, connect to the media out. Enter some text, let's say, character styling. Right click the text field, select character level styling. Switch to the Modifiers tab. Go to the Viewer, drag the mouse to select the characters you want to change the style. We can now change their settings in the Inspector, like Color, Font, Size and Tracking etc. Almost everything we can set for a normal Text Plus node, we can also change here for the selected characters. Transforming Add shading layers. For example, enable the outline. This is cool, but this approach won't work on text 3D nodes. Let's create a basic 3D scene with a text 3D, a merge 3D, a spotlight, and a renderer 3D. Enter character styling as the text. Bring the merge 3D node to the left viewer and the renderer 3D to the right side. Turn on the light and shadow option on the render node. Adjust the spotlight in the left side 3D viewer. Adjust the text extrusion setting. We now have a basic 3D looking text rendered. Right click the text field, choose character level styling. A modifier is created. But when we select some characters in the 3D viewer, there are no settings shown in the Modifiers tab. There are two ways to work around this. The first one is to make a copy of Text Plus node. Right-click the Text 3D node, choose Paste Settings. Great, this works. But if we want to make changes later, we have to do that on the Text Plus node and copy the settings again. Also we cannot see the 3D result while making changes. Another method is to connect the text 3D node to the character styling modifier directly. Let's reset the text 3D node. Right click the text field, select connect to, character styling 1, styled text. Select the text plus node. Select the word. Make sure to switch to the Modifiers tab in the Inspector. Change the color, we can now see the 3D result is changed immediately as we change the style on the Text Plus node. Alright, now we know how to do this directly with Text Plus and Text 3D nodes in the Fusion page. With the Essential Title 3D template, it's similar but much easier. You don't need to add Text Plus node or connect Text 3D node to the styling modifier. It has the styling modifier built in and connected already. Open it in the Fusion page. Double click to expand the title group. Select the main text node. Switch to the Modifiers tab. In the viewer, drag the mouse to select the characters. Change the style however you want. To avoid confusion, it's always a good idea to make selections on the main text node. Sometimes the final transformed 3D result may not match the character selections. The animations and other settings still work the same way as the title without sub-styling. Since this is a new change for the Essential Title 3D template, you need to download the new template in order to use this feature. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.